If you're a garlic bread fan like me, then there's only one thing you need to know how to make garlic butter. Because when you know how to make that, you can make your own garlic bread, which I call MYOGB, and it is next level. It's really easy to do, so let's get right into it. We're gonna start with some parsley. Now this parsley is gonna get chopped, but let's imagine you don't have a grown up around and you need to chop some parsley. What are you gonna do? You're gonna use some scissors. Now, as long as you've got your scissors license, so I'm talking eight and above, you can pop this into a jug or a cup. Just tear the leaves off with your fingers, just like that. It's a nice big parsley here. And then you're gonna use the scissors. Now, parsley and garlic are actually natural friends because parsley is a natural breath freshener, which means that the garlic breath that you usually get isn't gonna be so intense. Awesome. Now, here we go, we got our parsley going on. This is really, really easy. Here we go, perfect. And then you're gonna get some scissors, you're gonna hold on tight and just chop, just like that. This is a fun thing to do if you've just come home after a long day of school, had a frustrating final maths test that you're not quite sure how well you did. This is a great way of taking out all of your frustrations. There we go, terrific. You can pass the buck onto the parsley. Terrific, now that's looking nice and roughly chopped. Normally I would take my time with this, but I know you guys have places to be and garlic bread to bake, so let's move on. We've got our garlic already chopped. If you don't wanna chop it, you can use a garlic crusher as well and some salt flakes. So we're gonna pop all of that in here. Terrific. And then we've got some butter, which is at room temperature, which means it's really easy to squish because guess what? You'll be using your hands to squish it all together. Now you know that I like to get messy in the kitchen and this is one of my favourite ways to get messy. Oh, look at that. So the butter melts with the heat of your fingers. There we go. That's good. And the more melty it gets, the easier it is to mix everything through. You want to make sure that everything's nice and combined. Here we go. <laughs> Terrific. Now once it's all combined, we're going to pop it onto some baking paper and roll it into a sausage. Are we ready? This looks about right. That's good, check it out. That's the mix that you kind of want to create. Now we're gonna pop it onto some baking paper and some foil. Roll it out to a log shape, kind of like a garlic butter sausage. <laughs> and now we're gonna roll it together after I give my hands a good wipe. Make sure your hands are clean for this one, obviously. Terrific, okay. Now we're gonna roll it together, just like so. And you can add other ingredients to this garlic butter too, like for example, uh, some anchovies, if you're an anchovy fan. You could add some other herbs, like mint or basil, for example. But if you wanna start from somewhere, then just these basic ingredients will see you through. And then you pop it in the freezer. And, by the magic of television, this is what we're going for. Do you want to see inside? Of course you do. You're going to slice little slices off here. There we go. This is great. And that is what we're dealing with. I'm going to show you, because it's frozen, it's actually really easy to slice off and pop on top of steak. And if you are making your own garlic bread, all you need to do is cut slices into the bread cut these discs of garlic butter and pop the discs of garlic butter in between each slice. Check it out. I'm not gonna put this one in my mouth. <laughs> but I'm gonna give it a good whiff. Look at that. That is a disc of delicious. Speaking of delicious, better get my garlic bread out of the oven. See ya.